tell you one thing, I'm glad we got four wheel drive on this. Snow's an absolute killer. And it looks like we've had a little bit more overnight as well. Yeah, look at it. Definitely dropped a few more inches there at least. Oh my god, there's no chance of us doing anything again. Mm, I really did want to maybe shift some muck or anything like that this time of year. With the ground being like this, we haven't got any hope. I mean, look at the amount of snow there. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Right, let's go and have a look at the cows, just see what they need. I have had a couple of missed calls as well from George, so I'm going to have to figure out what he wants. I'm not late today anyway, so... At least, at least there's that. They look all right, don't they? They've got a bit of feed. They're happy enough there. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I have cleaned out the baler as well, so I did say I was going to do that. And the baler is sorted. I need to take the bale out though, but it seems like the bale that they've left in is near enough full. So it's a bit of a pain. But we will get to that. Let's just quickly see what George wanted. Two missed calls from him is a bit strange. Morning, George. How's it going? I've had two missed calls off you. You're eight. Armoury. Not too bad. Faffing snow, though. Fed up of it. What do you mean? It's. I think it's pretty decent, George. Love a bit of snow, I do. Especially this time of year. Getting close to Christmas as well. Ah, that's true, that's true. Hey, that's why I rang you up, you know. Wow, what do you mean? What you rang me up for now? Well, I thought we can go get ourselves a Christmas tree. Um, yeah, you can do. I mean, I'm happy to do that. What are you thinking, outdoor one or one inside? Oh, outdoor one, don't want one in here. Too much faffing for that. And they make a mess as well. No, I was thinking get one outside. Put a few lights on it. By the end of the day, it looks spot on, that will. Yeah, George, I like the idea of that. Let's get a centre Christmas tree. I mean, we haven't really spoke about Christmas much, but... I guess at some point we're going to have to figure out a bit of a plan for us. What are you doing? Because if you're not doing anything, I'm not. Save spending Christmas alone. Oh, I don't worry about that. We'll get it sorted when time comes. We've got a few weeks left now anyway. But no, let's go send a Christmas tree. All right, then. Um, what do you want? Do you want to go up now or in a bit? Uh, give us half an hour. I'm going to ring up Keith first, see if he wants one. May as well see if we can grab him one while we're there. All right, then. I'm sure Keith would get his own, though. Surely, if he wanted a Christmas tree, get one. Yeah, I know, but why not? See if Keith's all right as well. We haven't heard off him for a few weeks now. Yeah, all right, then. No problem. That's fine. Right, well, I'll crack on, then. I'm just going around the farm, check everything. It's all a bit frozen up at the moment. And this snow, I don't know if you noticed, but we've had a few more inches overnight. Oh, I've noticed. Bloody snow. Fed up of it. Oh, well. Right, well, leave me to it, and I'll uh, see you in half an hour. All right, and George, see you in a bit. Well, there we go, then. George is in the Christmas spirit. We should get a a Christmas tree. Ah, oh, well, I don't know where we'll get them from, but I'm sure there's a few places around where they're selling Christmas trees. It would be nice to see one up on the farm. We're a couple of weeks away now for Christmas, so not too long at all. Let's go have a quick look down here. just want to see if they've actually sorted the road out. Snow is crazy. It really has put a halt to everything. I mean, at the moment, all we can do is feed. Feed the cows and milk them. That's it. Right, so, it looks like... Yeah, they have. They've moved various. So, technically, we could get back down here. Now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> there ain't going to be much going down this road right now. With this snow, but... Do you know what? Let's see if we can actually see the, uh, the field in a bit. If we can go drive past this way. Depends where George is taking us, but nothing's stopping us going this way if we're heading in that direction. Oh, they're still doing work on uh, Tony's though, aren't they? I'd love to see how that field's getting on. Really would. One where we spread the straw. Well, kind of tedded it out. I have, I, have, I have heard him out in that field. I've seen him a few times. Before the snow hit, he did cultivate that through. So, yeah, I'm interested to see how that's gone on. But right, let's go just check around the farm. Just want to make sure everything's all right, not frozen up. I don't want any problems from all this snow. Pile of muck as well. I did want to shift that. I really did. That was my plan. Get some slurry out on these fields in these winter months. I just hope that crop's all right. 
I know we did plant the linseed just before and it germinated as well, but never good having that amount of snow sitting over the, the crop, suffocating it really. But, oh well, let's have a quick look. Yeah, cow seam are right. I know what they're grazing on. I haven't got a clue. Looking forward to when we get some calves on the farm. It shouldn't be too long now. Springtime. We'll have some. We can probably separate them out, put them in there. I think that was the plan. I hope I'm this. Ah, George. I hope George, you're right. I'm all right, where are you? What are you fluffing out now? I'm just checking on the bales and looking around the farm, making sure everything's all right with this plumbing mean, temperature dropping that much. It's freezing. I know, Arb, I'm trying to find you. You're faffing about somewhere. Hurry up. What do you mean, hurry up? Are you ready to go now? I am, ah. Uh, we need trailer. What do you mean, trailer? What, for the tree? Trees. We're getting trees, not one tree. Oh, all right. And I guess that uh, Keith wants a tree as well, then? Ah, uh, he does. He does. Right, well... The roads aren't that good, you know. I know, I know. Why do you want to do it? Well, what do you think? Tractor and trailer or 4x4 four four and trailer? Uh, 4x4. Four four. We'll use mine. Just get something to hook up to. Alright, um, I'm coming round now. I'll get it all set up. Alright, then. Hurry up. I've got all day. My feet are freezing. <laughs> yeah. Alright, then. Get some better socks on. Oh, I'll get some better socks on. That'll sort it out. Bright you are, aren't you? Alright, then, George. Calm down. Right. <laughs> His feet are freezing. Just trying to think what trailer take this in. We need something for a tree, don't we? I don't know how big he's going to get this tree. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, I'm not going to take that, am I, on a four wheel drive? Do you know what? I think I'm going to take that. I think that should be good enough. We're going to have to bring the four-wheel drive. We're going to have to bring the landy down here, though, aren't we? And shift that out of the way. And then probably get the telehandler out, take that uh, header trailer off. I think that's our best bet. With this, let's just hope George has left the keys in this. He normally does. Happy days. There we go. Let me now get their meters on. Freezing in here. Christmas tree shopping, eh? With George, who would have thought? Right, I'm hooked up. Blooming hell, that was a close one. That really was. Not much room behind for the uh, the header. I'll tell you that now. Let's try to reverse this back up into the yard. It doesn't like this though, this four wheel drive. This land here is literally on the limit, but it is going back. It's, the difference it makes having four wheel drive in snow is huge, it really is. I think we're all right, let's just have a quick look out window. Yeah, we'll be fine here. Steady as she goes. We'll get on the one bit that uh, George shoveled up on. <laughs> he did a cracking job. You can tell he's given up quickly enough. Right, let's leave that like that. We want the heaters on. And let's go get the uh, the load all out and we'll sort this out. Eh? Probably need to change over to the forks, but we'll see how we get on. Yeah, let's change over now. It makes more sense. Oh, me now. Can't believe we missed that bit in the middle there. All this done is made a massive bump. Right, well, I've taken the header off and it's all ready to go, so now we just need to wait for George. Let's just go knock on, see if he wants to drive or am I driving. Oh, hey, George, you right? I'm coming out now, I saw you. All right, and what do you want me to do? Do you want me to drive? Ah, uh, you drive. Is this trailer big enough? Oh, well, that'll be plenty big enough, that will. We've got some strapping. 
Yeah, it's just underneath here. All right, then. Let's go. Radio, sure you don't want to drive? Oh, you blooming mental. Of course I don't want to drive. Just make sure you got the meters on. Yeah, they're on. Right, we ready? Ah, right, let's go. Right, well, where am I heading off to? Uh... Well, do you remember Halloween? Yeah. Well, we went up to that forest bit. Yeah. We're going there. Um, all right, then. Uh, I'll tell you what, then. I may as well take a bit of a detour here, George. We'll go and have a look at half Grassfield. Just see how it's getting on now. The road's open down by uh, Tony's. Well, all right, then. Sounds like a good idea. Wait a minute. Why are we going up to that place where the... Uh, we went for Halloween. Isn't that just a woodland area? Oh, where'd you expect trees grow? What are you about grow? I know trees are grow in a woodland area, but why are we going to pick up a Christmas tree from where you buy Christmas trees from? You know, like where the places they, they sell them. What are you on about? You chop them down your sin. Are you kidding me? We're just going to the woods to chop a tree down. Oh, what's wrong with that? It's the way you do it. No, it's not, George. You go buy them. People grow them and sell them. There's the places for them. You see them on the side of the roads, the signs saying Christmas trees for sale. Well, I'm waiting for a Christmas tree when they grow. You can just chop them down and have them. You're off your head. Are we actually doing this? Oh, we're doing it. We're also getting two. Chopping two trees down? Have you got a chainsaw? What? Alright then. You know, it's your idea, let's do it. Fair play, I'll, I'll be honest. Can't say I've done it this way before. Well, first time for everything for you, isn't it? Seems like you're a bit wet behind the ears. About wet behind the ears, actually, George. I know quite a few things. <laughs> you know nothing. <laughs> right then. Anyway, focus on the road. It's blooming icy out here. And it's snowy. It's my landy. I don't know what you mess this up. I won't. Don't worry. Let's just have a quick look at this field before we go anywhere, though. All right, then. All right, then. Slow down. I am. Doing about ten miles an hour. I know, but it's icy. I've told you. It's a post, summit. I want to go and hit a post. Oh, come on, then, George. Let's just... We'll keep the engine running. We'll go have a look, eh? Oh, I'll wait in here. It's too cold out there. All right then. Oh me now, fire. I'll do everything. No way, that's that was where the bench should be. It looks a bit frozen over there, over there, doesn't it? Right, well. I mean, I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm just checking if things all right. I mean, it seems all right. It's just white over. I guess it's all right. I mean, there's not much I can even see. Bit of a waste of time, really, but it looks all right. There's a nice view up here. A bit picturesque with all this snow. You can't complain too much, really, can you? Right, let's go do this mad idea of George's. Go chop down two Christmas trees. I mean, I've never heard anything like it. The guy's off his head. He's off his head. Hey, that was quick. Yeah, I know, it was a bit of a waste of time, really, George. I got up there and, well, it's all white over. Well, I could have told you that from here. Yeah, I know, I know, I just thought we'd check the field. We haven't been up there in a while. Well, I'll get you, I'll get you. But a bit stupid, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit stupid. But, you know, it made sense at the time, I guess. <laughs> Maybe. Right, doing it. Yeah, all right, and whoa. Hey, see, you lost control there. It's your fault telling me dead late. Well, you should know by now where we're going. It was dark, George, last time. Is this, this is it, isn't it? Oh, this is it. Are we driving in? Ah, oh, driving. I ain't walking through too much snow. Told you my feet are freezing. Well, get better socks and boots then, man. What's wrong with you? I didn't know that. It's just cold. Don't matter how many socks you got on. Or boots. Cold's cold. Do you know that's the most logical thing you've ever said, George? Cold's cold. Well, it's true, isn't it? Right, what are we doing here, then? 
Well, we're just looking for a couple of trees. What, like that one? Oh, are you off your head? Of course not that one. Are we going to chop that down and fit that in here? Well, I don't know, dude. I've never done anything like this before. I don't even think we're allowed to do this. I'll be a reet, no one's here. Shut up, moaning. All right, then. What about that one there? Well, that's spot on, that is. Let's have a look at it. I think that's all right, George. Look at the size of that. It's perfect. Ah, oh, I'll take that. I'll have that one. All right, I'll be looking for another one, then. Yeah, look for another one, just like that. There's one over here. Right, we'll get this chainsaw then, chop it down and put it on the back. Wait a minute, what are you going to be doing? I'm going to supervise. Technical decision making. I'll sit in here, where it's warm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right. Oh, I mean, now it's freezing now. Oh, God, it's cold out there, George. I'm telling you now, it's freezing, man. Well, you took your time, that's why. You could have done that a lot quicker. Blimey hell, George, you just sat in here while I did that. You see me take them trees, they're not, it's not an easy, li easy, easy lift. You could have helped me out with that. Oh, you'll be right, young lad. You can do that. Yeah, well, clearly. Oh, God. Right, right, what are we going to do then? Well, we'll head down to Keithsworth, we drop one off, and then we'll take ours back and we'll, uh, we'll set it up, I guess, and just see how she looks. Right, then. Oh, I mean, I'm glad the eaters are on in here, I'll tell you that. Ah, well, that's what I was doing for you, making sure heaters were working. Yeah, it's exactly what you were doing, isn't it? Making sure the heaters were working. Well, I thank you for that, George. I really appreciate your helping hand. Ah, well, that's what I'm here for. Right, anyway, let's go see Keith. What the hell, George? It's bad down here, isn't it? Oh, it seems like he's got quite a bit of snow on his back, hasn't he? Oh, well. Right, pocket up here, knock on, and just drop the tree off. You don't have to take too long. I want to get back and freeze it. George, you're setting up the tree, not me, mate. I'll help you. But I'm not doing it all, man. You can put it in the ground. What do you mean, put it in the ground? We're digging all now. Well, why else do you expect it to sit there? you got to sort it out. All right, then. I'll try my very best. Oh, man, I'll fire. Oh, work today, George, is. Hey, up, Keith, you all right? Um, I've got a tree for you, crazy as it sounds. Yeah, I'm here with a tree for you. George said you wanted one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Okay, so you know about the tree then, yeah? Shall we just put it down here or something? Okay, right, I'll sort that out for you now, Keith. Right, see you later then, mate. See you in a bit, mate. Oh, my hell, fire. Right, let me get this tree off, sort that out, and then let's head back, I guess, and. Sort our own out. Well, I mean, I'll fire. This is the craziest thing I've ever done. Normally, I just go buy one. They come wrapped in everything. You don't have faff about as much as this. Right, we're nearly back there, George. You alright? Have you fallen asleep? You've gone a bit quiet. Well, I'm just chilling. Just chilling. I do like it when it snows. It is really nice when you think about it. A bit nice. What are you on about? You've just been moaning about it all. Well, in fact, you've been moaning about it since we've seen the first snowflake fall down. I won't moan it, I'm just saying. I just don't like it when it's like a surprise. I try and figure out when we're going to get stuff like this, but you know. I do like it overall, it's not too bad. Putting a Christmas tree up as well. Nice time of year, really. Well, it's nice that you say that, George, because I think the same. Christmas is great. Right, where are we putting this tree then? What are you thinking? Outside or inside the farm? Well, I think just there, that's where I've been putting it the last few years. What, just by that wall there, on the left hand side? Ah, uh, stick it there mate. And when it's up, give me a shout, and I'll come and help you put some lights on it. I've got plenty of stuff like that. You'll be surprised what Christmas gear I've got mate. Well, if it's anything like your Halloween stuff, I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Right, park it up down here, get the tree out, and then when it's up, yeah, look, give me a shout. We'll, we'll sort it out together. Alright then. What are you doing then, just going inside? Yeah, I'm getting inside, warm my feet up, freezing. 
George, you've been in this cab the whole time and it's nice and toasty in here. How are your feet cold still? I don't know. Maybe got wet socks. Well, if you got wet socks, go change them. No wonder your feet are freezing. I'll sort it out. I'll sort it out. All right, then. Right, well, I'll sort this tree out then and I'll come give you a shout. Ah, right, see you in a bit. See you in a bit, mate. Crazy. Crazy. Right, let's get this tree up. Uh, what you doing? No, that goes there, you idiot. Well, I'm trying my best. You told me to put the lights here. What do you want me to do with it? No. Oh, you pointed the rock. Just blooming leave it alone. I'll sort it out. Have you got any idea what you're doing? I told you, George, I've never done this before. Most of the trees I have are the ones you just buy at an Argos store or something. Fake. Fake trees. Fake trees? What's wrong with you, man? You don't have real tree. It's all point of Christmas. Get you send a real tree, put your lights on, and get something on top of it. Well, I ain't getting up there. Put that on there, George. Oh, you are, because I ain't getting up there, and I'll tell you this now. If you don't put that up there, I'm going to chop this tree down myself. We've just chopped it down. So you told me dig an hole, put it in the ground, and now you want me to chop it back down again? Well, if you don't get up top of there and put that in, I will. Right, well, George, I'll give it a go. I don't even want to actually spot me on the ladder. I know what you like. You'll probably get back in the, t in the house, warm your feet up. No, I'm all right now. Change me socks. Everything's all right. Oh, God. Right, well, give it here then, and I'll go do it. That's it. That's where it goes. Let me just... Two seconds. Just hold it there. Oh, that's perfect, Scruff. Perfect. Right, well, let me get down then and have a quick look. What do you think, Scroft? I think that looks spot on, George. Fair play to you. I think we've done a good job there. Yeah. I think it does make a difference having a nice Christmas tree. All right, and George, I give you credit for that. It was a good idea after all. I told you so, didn't I? And look at them lights. Spot on. Ah, looks like we're going to have a good Christmas, eh, George? Ah, we should do. We'll plan out what we're going to do soon. All right, um. Yeah, after all that, George, that was a cracking idea. Look at that tree. 